Google launched enhanced campaigns on AdWords in the summer of 2013, and there are a lot of good features. However, there are some bad features in enhanced campaigns that can burn through a lot of your money. So in this gotcha video, I'm going to explain what enhanced campaigns are and show you the one area you should look at to make sure that you know what you're doing. Let's get started. Welcome back. We are at number three, and this is a pretty short gotcha, but it's pretty important. So remember the code for the materials is jm-seo.org slash 67, so you can enter that uh, into the URL bar, and that's going to get you to the class materials. And of course, if you register, uh, you can get the free goodies, including the AdWords toolbook, which has free resources. So we're going to look at enhanced campaigns and I'm going to show you some interesting stuff on enhanced campaigns. So let's look at enhanced campaigns here and uh, we're going to log into AdWords and it's, it's pretty simple. There's, it's pretty simple what the problem is or where the issue is. So enhanced campaigns are a new feature that Google rolled out and there are some good things in advanced campaigns. Don't get me wrong, I'm not anti-AdWords. Uh, there's a lot of um, call extensions, uh, different ways you can bid, etc. Some advanced things we talk about in our class. But I want to show you a, a problem that a lot of people have when they set up a campaign and they don't understand what the problem is. So what happens is, so let's go and let's create a new campaign and I want to show you this. So go to campaigns and uh, if you've taken the previous class you know I really recommend you do search network only when you're just getting started. And I want to show you here, when you log in they force you to run on all devices by default. So what this means is you're going to run on the desktop, so you can run on PCs and Macs. You're going to run on iPads and tablets, so those are another device. And you're going to run on phones. Whether you like it or not, they're going to turn your campaign on to phones. Now here's your first kind of to-do homework. Uh, pause the video, get out your mobile phone, your iPhone, whatever, Google search your company, look at your website. If your website looks awesome on mobile phones, then you're in good shape. If your website looks like crap, now we have a problem. That's the first problem. Second problem is if your consumers are not likely to search on mobile phones. So mobile phones, right, I'm out having fun, pizza, awesome, I'm going to do a mobile phone search. I'm out having fun, uh, you know, gas station, mobile search. Now I'm not going to go on my mobile phone and look for industrial fans. Very unlikely. I'm not going to go on my mobile phone and research, uh, you know, brain surgeons in New York City, right? This is not a mobile search. There's a lot of analytics that can tell you whether people search mobile or not. So you've got to make a decision first. Does your website look good on mobile? If it does, then that's okay. And secondly, do your consumers, do your target customers search on mobile devices, yes or no? And if they do, kind of what are the issues there? Now you're going to set your campaign up and when you first set the campaign up, they do not give you an option to turn off mobile devices. How surprising because that makes Google more money. So you're going to set your campaign up. Now once you set your campaign up, let's go over here to this fake campaign I just set up on dog boarding. Once you set the campaign up, go over here to edit on your campaigns tab and presto, look at this, you can change your mobile bid adjustment. Click on your mobile bid adjustment, go down here and you can deprecate it. You can push it down by 100%. So now you're in the driver's seat with the phones. You can turn on the phones, you can up the bid on the phones, but you can turn off or on your bids so that you have some control over whether you want to run on mobile devices. Now I have had quite a few advertisers since we've transitioned to enhanced campaigns and they find out they're getting a lot of clicks from mobile users but no conversions usually because their their websites are not good they're, they don't look good on a mobile phone so people click and they know oh, it's too hard I leave what you paid for the click so our, our gotcha here is if you don't look good on a mobile device or your consumers are not likely to search and convert on a mobile device then go into your campaign settings and turn off the mobile device. Turn it down to 100%. Now, they do not allow you to do the same with tablets and computers. You're pretty much stuck. Uh, and in the class, we talk about some ways you can do just mobile phones. So that's our gotcha there. Pretty straightforward. 
uh, go and think about your mobile experience and in general I would recommend turning off mobile phones unless you're really ready uh, to reach out to consumers on mobile devices so that my dear friends is gotcha number three thank you so much for watching